It's the new Red Green Show! <laughs> of course, red and green and flat all over. I'll give you a hint. You're here on my uncle, Red Green! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, beautiful. Well, by golly, this is a big day. Probably my favorite day of the year, next to Christmas and Pancake Tuesday. This is just the best day. It's the most yeah. fantastic day, you know. Yeah. And it's not just the gifts either. You know, it's it's like, it's the thoughtfulness of people. You know, the appreciation of people. That's what it's all about. Well, you know, of course, the, the balloons and the fancy cake don't hurt at all either, you know. <laughs> I don't think we're talking about the same special day here, Harold. No? no. What special day are you talking about? Asphalt day. <laughs> Asphalt day. Well, no, I'm talking about Aunt Bernice's birthday. What? Aunt Bernice, Uncle Red. Bernice, my wife. Bingo! <laughs> What'd you get her? <laughs> what you're looking at here is a bunch of segments from this particular show. The main message being, for gosh sakes, don't even think about changing the channel. I'll tell you something, if you're going to try and make sense out of this program, you got to give it your undivided attention. Man, it really is Bernice's birthday. Their birthday always falls a week after Asphalt Day. That's how I remember it. What exactly is Asphalt Day? Asphalt Day, Harold. You know, Asphalt Day. Well, every spring, the highway crews come over and they try to fix all the cracks and the potholes and the crevices in the road. Then they head up to the main highway, but before the asphalt cools, we all get out there. We drive through all the holes and everything, undercoat all our vehicles. <laughs> and we scoop up the loose asphalt into pails, take it home, fix our own driveways. Wow. Um, you know, I can see why that's such an exciting event in your mind, but I'm thinking, you know, your wife's birthday, maybe it's just slow more important than a free bucket of pavement. I know. I know, Harold, but all the stores are going to be closed now. What are you talking about? It's not even noon yet. It's asphalt day, Harold. Nothing's going to be open. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Port asbestos. I'll go up there. It's not asphalt day there till tomorrow. <laughs> but no, I, I just got 125 miles away from here. By the time you get there, everything will be closed. Oh, no, no, Harold. There are a lot more cosmopolitan up there. The gas station's open till 7. <laughs> But later on in the Adventures with Bill uh, segment of the program, we're going to be cooking some hot bananas, or, or, well, we're starting to cook them now, but, you know, by golly, yeah, it just takes you back, doesn't it? When, and uh, my, my, my lucky camping jacket from when I was a kid. Yeah. I don't know why Bill felt he had to wave hello with his weenie there, but where'd it go, Bill? Huh? Where'd it go? Whoa. I think I can help you there. <laughs> and not even that, you know, uh, I look a little upset that it wasn't. It just takes me back to the days at camp when, you know, just the youngsters would be maybe 9, 10, or some of us were 17, but that didn't matter. We were all in the same grade. <laughs> and we'd be sitting around, uh, you know, and they'd get down by the campfire there and just... Uh, and we would use the sticks, you know, the sticks on the, on the hot dogs and everything. But, by golly, it was just, uh, just kind of nice. Uh, Bill seems to carry hot dogs around his pocket. I, uh, I don't know, I guess... Uh, Using those gratuities at the various hotels he stays at, I think. What's he doing there, huh? Oh, he needs the coat hanger. Anyway, he's got my... my... Oh, don't ever get a snake bite. Don't ever dare one to strike. Don't take a snake and wrap it around your head. Especially when you're riding your bike on the highway. Oh, don't ever get a snake bite. Cause believe me, that hurts plenty. And don't drop a rattler into your shorts. But then hindsight is always 2020. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, this is the big one for the grand prize of a recording of the sounds of nature, recorded right here at Possum Lodge. When a Sticky Peterson accidentally hit the record button on a date. Okay, Uncle Red, you have 30 seconds to make Mr. Hap Shaughnessy say this word. Alien. <laughs> okay, go. All right, uh, in the movie E.T., E.T. was... My idea. <laughs> of course, Spielberg never gave me any credit, again. Yeah, sure, okay, okay, fine. 
All right, uh, say an extraterrestrial in a spaceship. No, no, I, I'm what? sorry, Red, no, no. I, I, I can't talk about that incident. National security. <laughs> no, no, a, a, a creature from another planet. Voldar. Pardon me? Well, that's what he told me his name was. I can't divulge it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking about, you know, little green men from Mars. That's a... A myth. They're blue. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. I may have said too much. Well, we're used to that. No, I better get out of here. National security. X-Files and all that, you know. The truth is out there. Way out there. <laughs> This week on Handyman Corner, thought I might fix up the possum van a little bit by giving her a paint job. Now I know you're probably asking, how come, Red? She looks okay to me? Or, don't you need one of them air compressors? Or, what the hell is this show? <laughs> well, let me answer that by telling you, no, sir. I don't need one of them air compressors. Not when I got 60 pounds per square inch in each tire. All right, now, you want to get yourself a funnel, put your finger over the end there, put a little bit of paint in her. And then uh, what you do is you use the funnel to put the paint into the tire. <laughs> okay, now, now apparently the air does get in the way of that. <laughs> all right, I flattened all four tires, and for once in my life, I did it on purpose. I need to use all four because I got four different kinds of paint here. I got to have the gray and the black and the blue and then the little white, the little white highlights on here. So out of my four tires, let's see, one is old, one is new, one is borrowed. So this one I'll make blue. <laughs> all right, I got paint in all four tires now, and so now all I have to do is just pump them up. <laughs> all right, now, yeah. I want to make sure you're in pretty decent physical condition before you pump up four tires like that. You know, just because you see, you see me do it doesn't mean it's something that you should just automatically jump into. <laughs> all right, I got the paint in all four tires. Now I just want to make sure the paint is, is well mixed all the way through on them. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking, you know, if you had a leaky valve, you could paint the town red. <laughs> oh, I came out wrong. All right, now to get the paint from the tires onto the van, you need these uh, air hoses here. I'll tell you where you can get them. You get them from your local uh, gas station there. After they close, maybe they forgot to bring them in, you know? <laughs> so I've got uh, four of them, one from each tire, or I should say, one from each color. And then to distribute all the paint there, I run her through one of these uh, soft drink uh, dispenser nozzle units here, and uh, hook, now, now I'm gonna use mainly blue, so I made that cola. <laughs> so remember, women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Now, if you excuse me, I got some van customizing to do here. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, I shouldn't have used the quick dry and paint on, on there. That's. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll never have a flat tire. <laughs> oh, no, wait now, wait now. No, 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 I think just the, I think the nozzle's just clogged. <laughs> well, I'm glad this is a plaid shirt. Stay tuned and relax. Whatever this is, we got a lot more of it. I want to talk to you guys out there who are maybe thinking about getting married again. <laughs> now, before you make the lifelong till death do us part commitment thing for the second or third time, <laughs> can I just ask you one simple question? What are you, nuts? <laughs> Why would you want to give up the one thing that all men want? Freedom. And I'm not just talking about freedom to drive anywhere. I'm talking about freedom to drive anywhere the way you want. <laughs> freedom to stop at the bathroom when you want to. <laughs> freedom to go to the drive-thru when you want to. <laughs> the freedom to be able to hold on to your low-browed, narrow-minded, short-sighted opinions without ever having to defend them. <laughs> Why would you want to give that up? Because you'll have to. Oh yeah, oh for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. She's marrying you for the exact opposite reason that you're marrying her. She thinks you'll change. <laughs> she thinks you'll change for the better. <laughs> Improve with age. Hey, 
Things don't improve with age. Look at your truck. <laughs> Look at your roof. Look in the mirror. <laughs> so for gosh sake, before it's too late, don't get married again. And don't feel guilty. I'm sure someone on her side of the family's given her the exact same advice. <laughs> Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. <laughs> Ever get the feeling that cruel fate is playing you out like a bass? <laughs> Would that be a large mouth? <laughs> Would that be a suicide attempt? <laughs> so I'm heading out to the main highway in the possum van. Some moron has taken all the asphalt out of the big pothole by Pie Peak Turnoff. <laughs> Man, I nailed her. <laughs> Bent a strut, broke a tie rod, and took a pretty good shot in one of my ball joints. <laughs> so consequently, I didn't get to Port Asbestos, and I couldn't get Bernice a birthday gift at the gas station. That was a very novel concept there. An interesting shopping venue, Uncle Red, a gas station. <laughs> but, you know, I guess yeah, you're after that high-end stuff, huh? You know, the, the fuzzy dice, the road maps, the keychains, things like that, you know? I was getting her a set of glassware, Harold. It's free with a fill-up, okay? And there's 12-ounce glasses. They're unbreakable, and the Sunoco logo matches our kitchen. <laughs> well, then, yes, of course. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? Plan B, Harold. Sell me your gift there. I'd love to. Oh, great. Thanks a lot, Harold. But I can't. Why? That'd be wrong. Why? What do you mean? Well, that'd be wrong. I made it for her. Oh, come on, Harold. I'm her husband. It's important what I give her. You're just a nephew. She couldn't care less about you. <laughs> That's not true. That's not even true because wow. I know she likes me very much. I like her very much. And she knows I like her very much because I have never forgotten her birthday. <laughs> But I'll tell you what you could do. I'll tell you what you could do, okay? You go to your friends and you ask them if they have any useless gifts get laying around, you know? Like gifts they gave to their wives, but the wives knew right away it was way too useless to ever use. So it's laying around there. Ask them for one. So you're suggesting I get a useless gift for Bernice? Yeah, it's not like we're going to be breaking tradition here, Uncle Red. <laughs>